concrete. It starts its life here and it ends its life over here. Today we're doing a little body work. You can see that dent. It's probably crinkled. Doesn't match the grill or the bumper. So I'm going to show you how I do some body work. Okay, get this sucker out. I'll just take the grinder and uh, clean up all these jagged edges so I don't cut myself while I'm hammering this thing back into shape. Okay, got the panel straight like I like it. I made a little filler piece, which I got. You know, you gotta get this wherever you can. So anyway, you can see I need a little filler there. I'm gonna weld that in. And then I'll start tack welding this uh, patch back in. Stitch it all around. If you're using your Harbor Freight welder, I like to put it on minimum and about four and a half. And this metal is incredibly thin. So you really got to do this in short burst. So I got the wire speed kind of up fast. So you really push a lot of metal in fast and you got to let off the trigger before you melt a big hole in your panel. But it's doable. That's how I did all these welds. When I fixed this accident damage, I had this whole fender cut up, re-welded back together. Same thing here, this was all smashed in. Rebuilt the grill, all this plastic was smashed. This is all just real thin aluminum, pop riveted together. Made my own lens out of some clear plastic. You know, same thing over here. So it's getting there show you how to do some stitches got a little tack a little substitute piece so it lines up kind of nice with the bumper fender and I got a little body hammer not because I care about precision work but only because it gets in there in nice tight spaces of course I got my big old lump hammer you gotta have a big frame and hammer pry bar when you're doing this kind of body work Got my wire wheel on the drill, you know. Got the substructure welded up. It's not my best work, but the two are welded together. She's gonna be pretty strong. Hopefully she'll withstand the aerodynamic forces from, you know, 700 miles an hour on the highway. She's hot. All right, start tacking on this panel.
Really getting into some rough stuff. Big holes to fill. Big whoops. All right. Hammer this back. Try to get that gap straight. But that's basically it. You just keep hammering around. Tack welding it. Set that here. I'll beat that in, but I'll weld, wait till I get a little closer with the welder. Get a piece of metal to fill in this little triangle. But you're starting to see how we get to that. Very time consuming. I'm going to fill in a couple holes here today. Just a couple dots. Got a dot there. The rest of this is sealed. Oh, hold there, hold there. Then I'll seal the rest of it. About to wrap this up get all my welding done i'd do some more relief cuts i still have a problem right here got to get this fender to come out some of the doors actually hitting it when it opens but i'll show you how to do the finish that's what i do wire brush still got a good size hole right here And I gotta start with everything high and beat it back in because I can't get to the other side of the panel. So. I know it ain't pretty. I know it's not done right. But I think that's the whole point to this. All right, for the final step, the water-based polyurethane. This is how I do it. Get a good rag soaked in there. And then just don't be shy and lay it on. Of course, this ruins your rags. Probably put some of the brush too, and the rag won't get, won't be snagging on all the boogered up welds. But that's how I do it. Just get in there and get it all covered. That'll keep it from just crazy rusting away. And if you have to, you just finish it up. There you have it. All right. Next is going to be the cow induction hood. It's going to have the same Frankenstein stitches. So stay tuned for that one. <laughs> 